Kia ora, rather a foggy start for many of us as we started the day on Monday. We'll find some clearer skies as we head through the afternoon. However, you can see we've still got plenty of cloud around these eastern parts of the South Island, and this feature will just be keeping it some wet weather in towards those western facing coasts of the South Island as well. Up to the north though, that's our next system set to put push closer towards us as we head through the night time tonight and on in towards Wednesday, bringing the risk of some heavy rainfall, some strong winds and a fair covering of cloud across parts of the North Island, with the wettest and windiest weather expected across this eastern side. So the better, drier and brighter weather will be found down towards the south, but some clearer skies overnight for you, temperatures are down to about four degrees Celsius. On up north, I think we'll keep hold of a fair covering of cloud and perhaps turn it again Fairly misty and murky for some of those areas around Waikato and Auckland as we head in towards the early hours of the morning for, uh, for Tuesday. As we go through Tuesday, though, this area of low pressure that feeds down and develops off that eastern cape will be bringing heavy rainfall towards parts of Hawke's Bay and up in towards Gisborne and Tairafti, with some severe weather warnings already in place, along with warnings for wind. You can see those red arrows showing the strongest winds wrapping around the area of low pressure, bringing with it also some high amounts of swell. And to the rest of the North Island, a fair covering of clouds, some showers out towards Auckland, some of the drier, brighter weather down towards Fiordland and the west coast of the South Island will still keep hold of more cloudier skies across this eastern side. But it is a fairly unsettled story, especially across that eastern side of the North Island. Heavy rainfall warnings in place for those areas north of State Highway 5 in Hawke's Bay, up in towards about uh, the Tolaga Bay Way in Tairafti. Heavy rainfall warnings for you with watches either side from 9 a.m. on Tuesday through to 9 p.m. on Wednesday. Also, there's that warning for strong winds with gusts around about 120 kilometers an hour, not out of the question, around places like the Wairoa district, Mahia, and up in towards Tairafti as well for later in the day on Tuesday, 4 p.m. on Tuesday through to 10 a.m. on Wednesday, plus that risk of easterly swells and high tides. So really well worth taking a close eye on the uh, forecast over the next uh, few days, particularly Tuesday night and into Wednesday. For the North Island, again, perhaps a little bit of early morning mist and murk around places like Auckland and Waikato, but you can see this cloud piles in towards this eastern side of the uh, region. And we'll keep hold of that wet weather. That rain feeds in on towards the west, eastern side of the country, runs up in towards the ranges, with some heavy falls to watch out for. You can see out towards the west, there's some showers, but generally drier conditions through here with the heaviest rainfall expected about that Wairoa district up in towards the ranges through here as we go through the daytime on Tuesday in towards Wednesday, we could find as much as 120 to 150 millimetres of rainfall across some of those higher parts of uh, the Wairara district. So a fairly unsettled story. Uh, keep an eye on those severe weather watches. You can find down towards the likes of, say, Wellington, a bit more cloud and some showers pushing through to you and just the odd shower up towards Auckland as well. Fairly academic, here are our temperatures as we go through the daytime on Tuesday. Highs around about 15 at 16 degrees Celsius across those northern parts, 13s and 14s down towards the south. On the south side, again, we'll find it's a rather cloudy start, some showers around that western coast, and I think we'll always keep hold of a fair covering of cloud and some patchy rain or drizzle around this eastern side. But that western area should improve through the daytime, some drier and brighter weather through there, some clear skies and some sunshine back towards the likes of Fjordland and Southland as we head through the daytime, but always keeping hold of a fair covering of cloud out east. And you can see some showers or longer spells of rain up towards Marlborough. Bit of an east-west split in terms of our temperatures on the south side. Some cooler days uh, out towards the east. 11s and 12s for parts of Canterbury compared to 14 or so across towards, let's say, Westland up towards Buller and Grey. As we head into Wednesday, this low pressure stays with us, continues to feed that wet weather and that windy weather and those high swells on towards the eastern coast. It slowly starts to pull away and you can see some improving weather around the rest of the north side. We'll find it takes its time to clear through there. Remember that warning runs right the way through till 9 p.m. on Wednesday. On the south side, still areas of cloud, but some of the brighter weather out on that western side. Into Thursday, you can see the low pressure continues to pull away. A brief break and things are getting drier around that eastern coast. Generally some clearer skies back with us across many parts of New Zealand for Thursday. And this next front just pushing on towards the far south, just in time for Friday. That's it from me. You can find all the latest details at metservice.com.